Hey guys, it's your boy Mark Beck with another video, and I'm here to give you my thoughts on yet another 2019 Netflix film, that being High Flying Bird. Now, what High Flying Bird is about, it's about um, this agent manager guy basically trying to make careers for these guys in the NBA or something like that. Uh, so, what did I, and I'll, I'll, and when I'm like, yeah, something like that. Well, I'll just just let me speak. So, what did I think of High Flying Bird? I hated this movie. I really did. I was actually really looking forward to it. The title sounded like like an inspiring thing. It had some actors I liked in it, and it is by a director who has made two movies that I love. It, at least two movies that I love. Those being Ocean's Eleven and Magic Mike. This movie is literally the opposite, like the complete opposite of what I wanted it to be. It was so freaking boring. Every single character was basically an asshole, or a bitch, or entitled. And that's it for the whole majority of this film. We don't see any cool like NBA scenes, don't really see any cool like inspirational type of scenes. Except maybe a couple lines, and I wanted this movie to end like the moment it started. To be completely honest, I didn't like anything about it. Um, it starred Zazie Beetz, who of course is from Deadpool 2, and the upcoming Joker movie, which I'm so excited for. I'm looking forward to to that movie, and I love Deadpool 2. And but but I didn't like her in this movie at all, and I was looking forward to seeing her in this movie. Like, wow, after this thoughts video, I don't want to see this movie ever again or hear about it, besides comments on this thoughts video that you guys are watching. Like, why? I'm just wondering why. Why would anybody go out of their way to make this movie? Like, I didn't like it at all. And like, every single character was an asshole. Or they were entitled. I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to pay attention to most of this movie. So I didn't. I was still watching it. But I was also like working on stuff on this laptop. And man. I didn't like it. Just. It kind of reminded me of that 2011 movie. movie Margin Call. Which is a movie that I like. But every single character in that movie was an asshole. Let's be real. Like. Yeah you're getting fired. And they just shrug like a dickhead. I hate shit like that, and I know you guys gonna might think I'm a hypocrite right now because I I say that I love swearing in movies like I love it when characters say fuck 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 cunt 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 shit 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 nonstop in movies, but here they use it in such an asshole way, like like a character just randomly puts up fuck you in this movie literally that I hated that shit I hate shit like that you know seems like. Whenever you, with any type of movie involving like a big office job or something, that is a serious movie, not like a comedy. Like, you have awful characters like that always swearing a lot and just being massive dickheads to each other. And you might say, I didn't get the whole point of this movie. Fair enough. But at the same time, I don't care anymore. I don't like a thing about this movie. Okay, granted, there were a couple cool scenes, and the main manager guy, in, at certain times in the movie, seemed like a cool guy. Like, give me a fist, man. Stuff like that. But, just because I have a couple little teeny things that I even remotely like about it, doesn't mean I'm going to give this movie any bigger of a score. Yeah, I hated every second of this movie. This might... This might be my least favorite movie of the year now. It's either this or Paris is Us. And I'll I'll say that this has more of a story than Paris is Us. Paris is Us has no story. Um, but this at least does. Not that I'm really complimenting it for that. I'm just saying it does, you know what I mean? 1 out of 10. That's the second movie I've given a 1 out of 10 tonight. <sighs>
I'm gonna have a sleep now. I'm, a, I'm actually gonna brush my teeth and go have a sleep now. It's 10 a.m. here in New Zealand, April 21st, 2019, at the time of this recording. Um, I am not. Uh, I'm looking forward to having sleep. I don't know why I was like, I am not. Uh, I'll upload this thoughts video, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. And so yeah, if you guys have seen High Flying Bird, you know, if you like it, if you like this movie, I am happy for you, okay? I am happy for you. And I want you to keep loving it. But I couldn't stand it. And I don't want to see or hear about this movie ever again, except for comments on my thoughts video for this. Uh, I kind of want to forget it exists. Because I just... Why would anyone make this? Why would people go out of the way to make us? Well, I guess... Whatever. Um, so if you guys have seen the movie, comment below, tell me what you think. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was alright? Uh, and uh, please like this video. Leave a comment below. And uh, I'll see you guys later for more thoughts videos and more movies. Yes, more coming, you guys. There's still a couple more, not too much more still a couple more though um so yeah so thanks for watching guys peace out